What's going on guys? Adam again back with the Atomic Garage guys and I've had a video idea for quite a long time. Now that idea would be about those Honda clone Harbor Freight Predator engines. And you know what? I've got one actually. I don't think I ever told you guys and I've had one for at least a couple years. Now, here's the caveat. I haven't tried to start it and it sat outside for at least a year and I haven't touched it, started it in at least another three years. So the question is, how good are Harbor Freight engines? I know gas, old gas, gums up carburetors, but will it start? Let's find out today. So guys, we are going to go to exactly where I have been storing this engine for quite some time. Now, I don't want you guys to judge me because no, I have not done anything with it. And I have stored it literally under my house right here. I know it's pretty terrible. So I'm gonna dig it out. I'm not gonna do anything to it whatsoever. I'm gonna dig it out of there. We're gonna pull it out and we're gonna actually see, will it start? Or if it doesn't start, how much effort is needed to get it to actually start. So let's see what happens. First off, I want to go on record, guys, by saying, let me catch my breath. One second. I want to first go on record by saying, don't trust leaves. You think that it's just leaves right here? No, it's still wet under it. And you know what? It's all working against you. But anyway, let me show you the engine and how it currently looks. You guys just saw, I haven't done anything to it whatsoever. Here we have it right here. This is the culprit right here. Haven't started it in forever. It's got very little engine runtime on it. Now, the reason why I bought this engine, the reason why I bought it was I was building the Drift Tripe 1 that had a motorcycle front end from the motorcycle that I failed at building. If you guys didn't see that video, check it out. So I used the front end off of that and it was pretty cool and it was fun. But I needed to do a lot more stuff and I ran out of time. But the temperature feels perfect. The second thing that I used it for was I took a go-kart and I completely chopped it up and I was gonna do some other stuff and the project just kept getting more and more and more extreme and I never completed it and I ended up yanking the engine off. It looks pretty terrible, but we're gonna see if it starts. Look at that terrible bracket right there for the throttle to stay in one spot. Anyway, let's check the fuel, which it should be more than enough in there. Ah, let me put the camera. I know we should have fuel in here.
Maybe not. Maybe we should try some kind of starter fluid. Don't know if that'll do anything, but we're gonna give it a shot. And honestly, guys, be honest with you, I don't even know what this test is gonna truly accomplish, but I'm just curious, will it actually start after this long? I got some brake cleaner that I just bought from Napa. It was $1.99, caught a super deal. I'm gonna grab one out the BMW, and we're gonna spray it, and we're gonna see what happens. I haven't looked at the spark plug, I haven't got the gas cap off. I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll figure it out together. So side note, I got the brake cleaner. Now this is also me testing the theory of shows like uh, Roadkill, Roadkill Garage, where cars will sit for like 40 some odd years, couple months, years, whatever, and they'll run out to it, throw a battery in it, throw some starter fluid in it, and it'll fire straight up. This is testing the theory. The Pythagorean Theorem. I don't know what that is, but it sounded smart. We're going to test and see if that theory of just spraying something in it without checking anything else actually does something at all. Alrighty. Yeah. All right. Look at that. Nothing made a nest inside of there. Man, I must be doing it wrong. Like, usually rats and stuff will do all kind of stuff, but no. All right. That still look good. Look at that. If it focuses. Smell test. Smells just fine, too. Smell test is crucial, guys. If you haven't learned that yet, I don't know what you're doing on this channel. All right, so let's go ahead and throw some brake cleaner in it, starter fluid, as poor man's starter fluid, as I like to call it, and uh, we'll see if it works. All right, let's see. Blow it up while we're here. On, on, on. What? Wow. Well, after all those years, guys, after like four years, it's a minimum, guys, of four years, completely untouched, a year at least of outside in the rain, and it fires up. But it fired up the first time for me, which was even longer, and then it fired up this time here as well. This time I had to shut the fuel off because clearly it's bad gas. But you're telling me, guys, that if I drain that gas from out of that gas tank, put some fresh gas in it, I can pull it and start it again. Wow. Wow, guys. I personally am amazed at that because honestly, I thought bad gas couldn't even open up the gas cap. This bad boy is not gonna start at all. So it really caught me by surprise in the fact that it actually started. Can you believe that? So in conclusion guys, I don't know if this is a positive indictment on Predator engines by Harbor Freight or if it's an indictment by um, um, Napa's brake cleaner or what, but you know what? This is a success right here guys, quite honestly. I mean, just spraying some in there, starting it up and she runs, which is, which is beyond 
which is beyond me, honestly. Wow, guys, I am, I am completely shocked. You know what, engines, excuse the wind, excuse the wind, but engines are like an air pump, really. I mean, air, fuel, spark, that's all you need right there, and you're actually all good to go. That's all that that Harbor Freight engine needed as well, and that's, that is truly just amazing, really. And you know what, maybe I'm just shocked by it. Maybe you guys know of experiences in your own vehicles or whatever that the engine just started back up after years of being dormant and sitting. I haven't ran into that a whole bunch, but tell me in the comment section below if you've ran into that as well or if I'm just hyping it up. So I already know that this Harbor Freight engine, the Predator 6.5 Honda clone, is already a beast. It's plenty, plenty of videos that's already on YouTube, so I'm not about to beat a dead horse. But the fact that it starts up after four years of being dormant, declared dead, and it fires right back up, that's pretty amazing to me, guys. So that's it for me, guys. I will catch you guys in the next video of what we will do next. I have no earthly idea, but you know what? We're going to find something, and we're going to do it. And I'm going to record it and show you guys. If you guys did enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. But at the very least, all I ask is that you tell me how I can improve talk less show more whatever the case may be you don't like the music at least let me know i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out